You are Aphrodite, you are Nefertiti, you are the creator of all the life that I'm Hey queens and kings, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Velma. I vlog to document my journey through mental, physical, and spiritual health. So if you're interested, click subscribe and join the family today is actually the day after I released my clothing line and I'm overwhelmed with the love that I received for it. I'm excited about everything, honestly. I'm enjoying the pressure. So um, actually today I'm going to start working on shipments. I'm gonna show you how I made the shirts. So I'm about to work out. I did the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. It's today is the last day. So I'm happy about that. I feel a lot stronger. Yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and get the day started. It's a long intro of five minutes left. Okay, I'll catch y'all on. I'll just catch you in the next clip. How about that? I haven't been vlogging, so I forgot. I'm going to mama, you know what I'm saying? I'm mama. But, um, yeah, we, we just went to Target and I got some stuff. I, I can't show you what I got, but it wasn't interesting. It was us being in Target and realizing everything is sold out and they don't care about restocking stuff. I will go show, like, me packing and stuff like that. So, I'm trying. Okay, welcome to my office, period. Um, I don't know why I did that. Whoa, the sun just came out. Anyway, so I am in my basement and this is where I have created the Divine Label. It's very, messy down here a lot of my things are down here because um, I am supposed to be moving into the house if you don't know I am going to be renovating my grandmother's home and living there but that is another video this video is about the clothing apparel line that I've created I just came down with all my stuff. Um, so I'm about to organize my area and then we can get started packing some of these shirts. These are very humble beginnings. Um, and I'm kinda worried that my mama's gonna be mad that I'm showing her basement and it's not clean, but this is just the reality. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff in the background. I'm gonna stop pointing out to it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? On my little area. So this is my first I'm doing anything like this so I'm gonna fumble around until I find my groove all right so
And of course she knew. Okay, so I am back. I got, I think six packages or orders filled and shipped. I went to the post office um, real quick. I didn't film it because it's not like I'm one of those cute YouTubers that's gonna go and put it in the little thing and send it right off. No, I had to stand in line and, I, and then I didn't want nobody address to show. So boom, I'm home and I'm about to start making the rest of the shirts that I have. I have everything set up. I have my printer slash cutter. I have a Cricut cutter. Um, I'll put a link to the Cricut cutter air something too, something something. And then I have this heat press that I got from Amazon. It was a decent price. I have a startup cost versus just a general um, production cost. It was it was about six hundred dollars in total, including the heat press, the um, the Cricut cutter, the shirts, the vinyl, all the things that it cost me to start the business was around six to seven hundred dollars all you have to do is just make sure you look at your numbers and make sure that you're still able to make a profit so that you can keep your business running because all of my profit i'm just going to be putting right back into my business so first thing first i turned on my cutter and i opened it up now I'm gonna turn on my heat press. I need it set at 305 degrees as you saw before that. So it's heating up right now. While it's heating up, I come over. I come over to my laptop and I have my design. I need to make sure that my cutter is connected to the Cricut machine so it's connected now and now I need to come here and I need to put the vinyl onto the Cricut mat so I am starting with green shirts so um for my green shirts I'm using um the neon orange vinyl I will also put a link to the vinyl that I ordered. This is HTV vinyl, I believe it's called. Okay, so the dimensions is seven by four for this piece of vinyl. So if I come over here, come over here and I look at my design on Cricut, it is seven by one. I can get three to four cuts out of that piece. So what I'm gonna do, we're here we want to do let's see let's see if i can do four definitely can do four i might be able to squeeze in five so i need to go in and i need to space these out i don't want to go past four inches so We're just gonna give these some space so that I can cut these. Okay, boom. So you will see this right here to tell you to put the shiny, oh, put the shiny, 
put the shiny part of the vinyl face down and also make sure that you want to make sure that your image is flipped mirrored so the words should be going backwards because when it cuts it's gonna cut backwards on the back of the vinyl and then you're gonna flip it and it'll be right side I actually placed this wrong what I need to do is take it off when you see when you have the vinyl um, this color is easy to tell because it's white on the back and then it's the orange. So I want to place it down like that. Um, but like with white, you can see that this side is a little more dull and then this side is shiny. So this side is the side you want to put face down on the mat. Now I need to go ahead and place the mat in the machine. And I need to press the loading button. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut. There we go. So I have the shirt laid out. I have it as straight as I can get it. I'm gonna wait until this is done and then I'm gonna come back. All right, so we're all finished. We we'll want to go ahead and unload the mat and it is cut. You're gonna need a feeding tool. Um, this is not one, but uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So you wanna get a grip in the corner of the vinyl so that you can grab it and you can pull the vinyl off of the transfer sheet. Just like that. So you see how on Q and B, the like holes <laughs> aren't in the letters. You have to go and weave, weed, I don't know, weave or weed <laughs> them out, weed. Done. So I have it placed on the shirt and I want to go here and I'm gonna time it because I haven't figured out how to time it on the machine. 15 seconds. And then you just peel up the transfer paper. And you have he pressed vinyl. To make sure that your vinyl is has a good stick and that it won't peel up after washes and things like that. But if you were to look closely at this, you would be able to see the fabric through the vinyl lettering. That is how you know that it is not gonna peel up on you and it will stay put. Um, I have an entire box to do. So I gotta get to work. I sold out. I sold out. I sold out in six days. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, like, all you have to do to achieve anything that you want is to try it, even if you 
failed and you suck at it just try it and i hadn't even when i launched this line i hadn't even created i didn't make all the shirts that i had and i just thought you know let me just make a few and i have a few orders and then i'll make them as they come and this and that and it was like the first day i had sold so many it was like so i had to make the shirts and get them packaged and do it in a timely fashion i'm just excited people have told me that they've already gotten their shirts my best friend took a picture of her and i'm just feeling good about it you know i'm i'm just happy so thank you thank you for watching this video and i'm gonna catch you on the next one all right peace love and blessings